I think we read about that, you know, the Cardiff support saying he comes to life in the six-yard box. I mean, against Stoke last week, he had a great opportunity. I mean, you have to give the goalkeeper credit. Uh, you know, he hit the target. The uh, goalkeeper just managed to uh, keep it out of the goal. But, uh, yeah, we definitely need him back uh, on goal-scoring form. So here we go. The two teams break from their huddles. And it is going to be the home team to get things underway. Blackburn caused an almighty shock last week when they won at Leeds, ending Leeds United's unbeaten home record just days after they were hammered 5-0 at Bristol City. Before that, they drew with Southampton and hammered Sunderland 5-1. So you never quite know what you're going to get from Blackburn. And it's the same with Sheffield Wednesday as we have underway here on BBC Radio Sheffield. You can barely hear yourself think because of the atmosphere from the away end to our right. It's a bit flat for the Blackburn fans who maybe feel that win last week has put them into a position where they're relatively safe inside the Sheffield Wednesday half. He's going to steal about five yards here and throw it into midfield for Masaba. For Maywo puts in attack. Well, Windus, Windus is on to that. There. Windus can get there. They've fallen asleep here, Blackburn. Windus on the left, crosses it in. And he's back behind for a corner to Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, Tom. well, Windus picked that up really well. Diagonal run, gets the ball before he goes out uh, for a goal kick. <laughs> I think he's trying to find Ugbo in the middle, but uh, he got interception. So Wednesday corner. Bright start for the Owls. I think he might actually have a blooded nose. Oh, oh, corner oh, oh. in towards Windass at the near post, but Windass couldn't do much with it. Blackburn can counter-attack here. Good ball down the right-hand side. This is dangerous. It's played in towards Dolan. Dolan's got a man on the overlapping Callum Britton, the former Barnsley man. Brilliant, Brilliant from Bannon. From Barry Bannon, though. Wins it back for the outs. Now here's Masaba, still deep inside his own half. Good ball to find Will Volks, who will just hoop that one clear. Yeah. I'll tell you and, what, Ugbo, uh, will he get on to it? After it. Keeper's come a long way out of his box here and heads it to a teammate. Good pressing though from Chance. Masaba. Wins it back. Windus tries what to... What a goal! Oh, yes! Gosh, what a goal! It's a magic for Sheffield Wednesday! The away end explodes here at Ewood Park. It is absolutely fantastic from Josh Windus. Keeper off his line and he just flicks it over his head. It is brilliant! Sheffield Wednesday 1 What do you say? What do you say to that? That was one of the best goals I've ever seen Absolutely superb from Windus Goalkeeper's made a massive error Come, not got it Wow, what a start for Sheffield Wednesday on the front foot just as they were against Stoke Last week they couldn't get the breakthrough and now a moment of pure class from Josh Windass has given them the breakthrough here at Blackburn. Keeper off his line. How far was Windass out? 40 yards, John, maybe more? Something like that, yeah. And he's loved the keeper with one touch. He could not have hit that any better, Josh Windass. Well, I don't think I've ever wished my life away, but I wish it was about half past two. No need to risk it. If you're going to lose the ball, you might as well lose it here on the edge of Blackburn's box as it's headed clear by Rovers. That's a good ball, though. And now here's Smodix. Is he going to get away from Fermei? Well, it's dangerous. He's scored again. Sammy Smodix gets another goal. It was a fantastic finish. And Wednesday's lead with Scotland again, just like last weekend. One long punt down the field. Smodix gets away from Fermei. And the most dangerous forward in the championship. You cannot allow him that time and space. He picked his spot, and it's Blackburn 1, Sheffield Wednesday 1. Yeah, we were caught too high up the pitch there. I mean, a header that's just headed bit in behind, and we're so deep, we're so far pushed up, we didn't have the pace to catch him. And there he is, what he does best, he just slots it home easy. So now we've got to come back again. We've got to show some real character now. You have to think, you know, obviously maybe at half time rather than now, about shape change here. Ball headed forward. On the Wednesday, if they can win, will uh, go out to the bottom three. Bannon slides in. Well done. Now here's Volks. Volks has to go all the way back to Beadle. <laughs> 
Beadle. Rolls it across towards the right, it's dangerous. Palmer finds Volks, and then Volks That's does a well. nice ball. And he's played it up to Masaba, this is better. Ugbo's in the middle, can Masaba pick him out? It's in towards Ugbo, and Windas! Oh, Windas got the final touch, and he's hit it wide. Oh, the ref's given a corner, dear. unbelievable, the ref's given a corner. Yeah, Josh Windas did Absolutely great acting there. He got the last touch, didn't he? And now the assistant referee on oh, the Oh, how did the ref... The referee's ten yards the away from the, the linesman. How did the linesman see that? I mean, he's got it right. Yeah, he's got it right, but how did he see it? And overrule the referee. But it's amazing that it actually made its way through. I, I don't think it's a good ball from Masaba because Ugbo was, was there. He got the, the legs on the defender and Masaba was in front of Ugbo, so there was no threat of offside. And then he plays it back to Britain. Britain That's a great bended run. And uh, this is what he did for the goal. On this occasion, though, Bambo Diaby is there. And Beadle has just well done. tried the oh, most dear. dangerous turn to get away from a defender. If he'd have oh. lost that, John, it would have been 2-1 to Blackburn. Hearts in mouth stuff, but I suppose as soon as it came off, fair play to James Beadle. Well played. Well, very well played, but I'm going to put my heart back in where it belongs, in my chest. Good ball here from Palmer for Bannon. Great cut control. Bannon, early ball Great into ball. Ugbo. Can Ugbo turn in the penalty area? Right-hand side, back heel to Masaba. Masaba's turned away from his man, but well, it's look away it. from him. It's good play. Kicked out of play for a throw-in, though, to Sheffield Wednesday. That'll get the away fans going. Diaby and Femewo up from the back. Long throw comes in. Headed clear. No chance. Well, straight back towards Volks off the head of Liam Palmer. It's a good one. Back into the box. Deep. Too deep. Can Johnson keep it in? He will get he there ahead of the defender. Get in the box. Poorly positioned, and then Johnson plays it into Liam Palmer. Oh, he's hit it over the bar. It's a big chance on the penalty spot from Liam Palmer, and he knows it. All he had to do was keep it down, John, but he hits it over the bar. Oh, dear me. That's going to be on Liam's mind. Who was a Man City player in midweek against Real Madrid? He did the same thing. I forgot his name. Cut across the ball, he did it right, he, he went for the right type of shot, but he just couldn't keep it down. Flipped on by Ugbo. Oh dear, oh, is it going again? And Bambo Diaby's not going to get there, is he? He's recovered, but Smudix gets there. Big save from Beadle. I think Diaby did just enough to get back and put Smodix off, and you have to credit Diaby for that. You do, and yeah. Gallagher has gone down clutching his knee, and he seems to be in some pain now. And, I think he's actually OK, I think he was making a dog's dinner of that, but for a minute there it looked like here is the exact carbon copy of the goal, Smodix gets away, Diaby did just enough, and this time Beadle gets to the shot, John Pearson. Diaby did really well there to get by, because like you said, he was through exactly the same situ situation. Wednesday would have preferred the set-piece from the free kick. Here comes the long throw from Volks, headed into the air by a Blackburn defender. Bambo Diaby oh, heads it towards goal. Oh, look at It's a bit of a Hollywood clash of heads. from Ainsley Piers, and yeah, there's been a clash of heads involving uh, Diaby's. Diaby. Uh, well, Windows and, is signalling, uh, get, come on, yeah. he must have cut himself. He's been in the wars, Bambo Diaby, since coming on. He's had the clash of heads with Will Volks, now he's had another clash of heads. And there must be some, maybe it's drawn blood or something, because Windass was calling for the physios to come straight on. The Blackburn player's OK. Back on his feet, and he's coming off. And he's walking off, and he's, he's holding something against his face, and you can see, oh, my word, look at his shirt, John. There's blood everywhere. Yeah. So, so Iorfa is coming on, and based on the look of uh, Bambo Diaby's top, very easy to understand why he's going to have to come off here. That yellow shirt is now red. So Wednesday, just to keep you up to date, uh, had to take Ihekwa off, replaced by Diaby in the first half. Now Diaby having to be replaced by Dominic Iorfa. This is good play from Will Vox. Two against it's two. Tony K. Ugbo. It is two against two. Ugbo running alongside Masaba, who gets possession now. Windass in the middle, played it towards Windass, here's a chance! Oh, my word! It's Marvin Come Johnson on. at the far post, who hammers it home in front of the 7,000 Wednesday fans. What a moment for the Owls, 58 minutes into this game. A counter-attack, finished 
by Marvin Johnson. It is Blackburn 1, Sheffield Wednesday 2. Well, that came out of nowhere, didn't it? That came from absolutely out of nowhere, but what a fantastic build-up, fantastic goal. Will Volks did a fantastic job there. Yeah. He's down injured, but his, his winning of the, the, the ball in midfield released that move. God, uh, physios are coming back on again. Well, There's going to be about 20 minutes of stoppage time at this point. Yeah, rate. I mean... I'm going to have a look on the uh, app and see where we are in the league because it'll, not, it'll look good. Well, it was a cracking ball in from this uh, right-hand side by Masaba. I thought it was going to go in towards Windass. It was ahead of Windass and on a plate for Marvin Johnson. Yeah, he's still got in. work to do, hasn't he, though? He's still got work to do. It's a great goal. Well, listen to that away end. They'll have been desperate to see a goal at that end. They've got one now. They've got the noses in front, John. They've got an hour plus, maybe another hour after, after it in stoppage time. But they've got half an hour plus whatever stoppage time there is to go on and win this game. I don't want to say, but when's it the moment? They're looking comfortable. I don't want to don't listen to that. Not said. I didn't say it. <laughs> And I definitely didn't say it if you're heading for your uh, Twitter account. Palmer cut with a cross, headed Ooh. away as far as Bannon. Bannon gets past his man. Will he get a cross in here, Bannon? Bannon crosses it in, up towards Ugbo. Could fall into the Bermeo, and he's hammered it over the bar. That was a chance, Oh, job. that was a chance. He was on his wrong foot. Oh, that was a chance. Perhaps fell to the wrong man. He booted it over the bar and it, he had the space and the time. Ugbo. Windass pressing over on that far side. Well done, well done. Good block from Windass out of play for a throw. This championship season has been so weird. It looked as if Leicester had won the title by Christmas. And in the end, there's been a title battle because Leicester. Oh, he's oh, gone on! The going to score! Yes! Oh, Get in! It's one of the worst own goals you will ever see. But for Sheffield Wednesday, it's one of the best. A throwback to the keeper. He's tried to kick it away. He's had an air shot. And all he's done is slice it into his own goal. It's a complete gift. And Sheffield Wednesday's fans don't care. Blackburn one, Sheffield Wednesday three. I'm going to support the goalkeeper a little bit. That had an, an amazing bounce as he went to kick it. And he just uh, he just caught it slightly and he's just gone and spun. And I thought, he's given up. And he, he just crept into the net. What a time for a goal like that, John, Well, in the season. The gods are looking down on us because that unbelievable goal from Windass, great goal. The second one, and then a complete gift. I'm an atheist, John, but I'm starting to wonder if there's a footballing god. I was at the New York yesterday, they put a late flag up to deny Birmingham a late goal. It was so late, that flag. And then that from Ainsley Pierce today makes you wonder whether someone's just looking down on Sheffield Wednesday this weekend. I think I'm right in saying 46 has been enough for the last couple of years, John. It's incredible this season. Here's Bannon. Bannon edge of the box, tried to slip it through for Ugbo. Oh. It's blocked off, and because Wednesday were pushing bodies forward, they've now got a counter attack to defend from Blackburn Rovers. And it looks like it's four against four. It's slid through, it's Smudix. Oh, for once he's missed. Big moment in the game, the counter attack, and the championship's most deadly striker on that occasion, John, fails to hit the target. Yeah, Blackburn did to us what we just moments earlier tried to do to them. It's a fan base behind that goal that have not had much to cheer about on their travels this year. But they're lapping up every minute of this as Beadle kicks low from inside his box, cleared only as far as Bannon. Windass, Windass over Can the he top. get there? Can he Masaba get there? can get there. Masaba with a chance to wrap it up. He gets past his man, it's Masaba. And it's Piers who atones for his error somewhat, at least, by making a huge save, John. That would have been game over at 4-1. Crikey. it. Now the ball oh, great tackle. Bermeo comes in and kicks it out of play. But Blackburn players down. There is. Danny Rill's got his head in his hands because once Masaba had got past the defender, 
like Smudix a moment ago, John, you were just waiting well, for the goal to be scored. Yeah, but I mean, I thought at first, after his first touch, that he wasn't going to get there, but his pace got him, got him there. The goalkeeper's come out and spread himself, and it's a great save from him. Well, the Blackburn players down there. This is just what the game needed, another stoppage. Wednesday win, they will be fourth from bottom tonight. Wednesday fans have been looking at that table for months. Good touch. Waiting to see the Owls' fourth bottom. Here's Gassama. Can they get a fourth to finish it? Back heel from Gassama looking for Smith, but he can't find it. Don't foul him. Callum Britton comes across here. He's done Great skill well. from him. He's done well, and Blackburn clear, but only as far as Palmer. Bannon, little flick from Bannon. Rolls off the shoulder of Gassama. Awkward, he kicks it into the air. Blackburn head clear. Patterson wins it back. It's really awkward from him, but he's got a cross in. Here's a chance for Smith. And should he have done better, John Pearson? He threw a boot and difficult, behind for a Difficult to tell, in it? He, he's glanced it. He's got a foot on it. Yeah, you're right. Could he have done better? I don't, I don't know. More contact there, and it's for Patterson. Did ever so well, didn't he? Yeah, brilliant. Less than 10 to go. Blackburn's fans screaming at the man on the ball, Britain, because he was taking forever to get it forward and he's lost it now. Here's a chance for Wednesday to win it. He's going to have to Kusama do it on his own. Down, that's a foul. Will be a yellow card. He absolutely wiped out Jedi Gassama. It's going to be Volks to drive it. Great he effort. Saves. What a shot. Smith could get there. And the Blackburn defender just gets there instead. He's been pressured though. And then Bannon. Trying to force the error, that's a foul from Volks. That'll be a yellow card for Will Volks with a foul on Buckley. I don't think Wednesday will mind that, it'll allow them to regroup, but it was a decent effort from Will Volks and a good save from it's a great effort, Ainsley yeah. Pierce. There's the full-time whistle. Get in there! A huge win for Sheffield Wednesday. Danny Rill punches the air, and 7,000 Sheffield Wednesday fans celebrate behind the goal to the right-hand side. This was a must win, and John Pearson, Sheffield Wednesday, have won. And they are out of the bottom three with two games to go. Uh, the first time all season we are out after the game. It's been immense today, the support, the performance, everybody's come together, everybody's played a part, every single fan's played a part. Uh, it's just one of those days, everything went right for us. We got to half-time, I thought we were... Probably fractionally uh, the second best team, and Blackburn had slightly edged the first half, but the second half, what a, what a difference. Big, big character, big, big test for us. Well, simply put, Wednesday had to, had to get a result here. Even a draw, you think, OK, it's not over, but they've given themselves a lot to do, but now they will leapfrog Birmingham and Huddersfield. They are catching Plymouth and Blackburn and the rest. If they could win at home to West Brom next week, they may even be safe, John. That's a win next week. If the other two, I mean, they'd be more or less there. Yeah, a possibility. I mean, it's a massively tough game, isn't it? Tough, tough game next Saturday. They've all been tough. But we've responded. We've responded big time.